Today we'll learn about routing customizing. So the topics that we're going to cover today they are number range customizing for routing, maintain task list types, standard value description in overview operation overview, profile with default values, field selection, material type assignment, routing status, task list usage, planner group and overview variant. So let us start with a business example first about the routing customizing. In the project team you are responsible for routing administration. You need to be aware of what options your company can take advantage of to adopt their existing routing to SAP ERP. So the data uh, with, from the customizing point of view is stored in two different areas. So first one is the control data. So in control data, basically you can uh, customize all of these things that you can see in the screen. So define number range, maintain task list types, standard value description and all that. So let me show you this customizing first. So you need to go to SPRO to go into the customizing, then SAP reference IMG. And here you can open production and basic data, routing. And here, as I said, the data from the customizing point of view is stored in two areas. One is the control data, other one is the general data. So first we'll start with the control data. So open control data and here you will see all the available customizing. So the first one we have is a number range. How we can create a number range for routing. Now before I start the number range, let me explain you what is number range. So if I open one more session in SAP here. So if you remember like earlier in the previous um, routing topic, we have seen that whenever you create a routing, say if I created this routing earlier, system will be creating a number, a unique number for every routing. So if I go to the header of this routing, every time you create a new routing system will be creating a group number. All right, so this is what we discussed earlier. So this group number is picked up in a number. So system will be assigned, always assign a new unique number in sequence, in order. So for example, if the last number was 473 ending with 473, Next routing will take the number 474, 475 and so on. Okay, so this is known as number range. Now the question is, how does the system know that it has to decide this number range? So we, we do that customizing in the number range so that system can pick up the this particular number range. Now all of the standard SAP, they use this number range. Even with most of the companies they are using SAP, they use the same standard number range. So this is a default number range you can see in every SAP software. But I'll show you where this customizing is and if needed, how you can create a new number range. So if I go to the here define number range for routing, go to this the middle button change interval. So you can see the first one. So the number range is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So starting from this up to 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, that is a number range. So systems, the first routing will pick up this number, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the next one will pick 5, 0, 0, 0, then 1, then 2, 3, 4, and so on. The, the number will continue. So system is picking up the 5000 number range that you can see here from this customizing. So here you can see uh, also you can see here uh, NR status. So this one is showing you this is the current number range. Okay, so that, that's the last number range uh, that was used last time. So that means if someone will create a new routing right now, then system will pick 79 for 5000 So that will be the next one. So here it's showing you what is the current number being used. So here you can see um, the number range. So again number range are of two types. 
when we talk about the number range number range is used in in the orders production order everywhere so if you know the customizing of one number range you will know all of all of the others number range so when we talk about the number range there are two types one is your internal number range second is your external number range so internal number range means system will be assigning a number internally that means whenever you create a routing you do not need to give a number manually system will be assigning it automatically this is called internal internal SAP, SAP internal number range so here we using the number range internal is 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 up to 9999 and something that number range we are using at the moment for internal so system is picking the next number internally from this number range again the second one is the external number range external means whenever you create a routing you need you want to give it a your own number okay or own name for example if i want to create a routing say if i go to ca0 I want to create a new routing uh say if i okay if i'll pick the same um okay if i pick a different material okay let me try this if the routing is not created yet no this is created okay i'll, I'll use this one okay let me see if okay routing is not created so we'll use this one for experiment so if you want to assign a external number range so here you can enter the group that's a group number in the the number will be taken in a group so here if i said any any number i can enter for example i can say any uh, character i can enter for example i can say uh, g s s s s s n s and if i press enter system is creating with this num this number you can see the group here is if you save it it will be instead of 5000 series it will be using this number so and it's accepting that number and if i do not give this number if i say give something else say here if i give some other number for example if i say i want to give a number say 10000 press enter it's giving an error at the bottom if you see the message at the bottom saying error external number range is not possible if i click on the error you can see the detail that this number range is not accepted so here i show you why it is accepted and why not so the first one is the internal the second one is the external you can see a to z z z that means any character between a to z that you put it will accept it and here this is ticked as external you can see this is ticked as external if you want to use for external you want to use this to this say one nine 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 for example then in that case you need to create a, another entry here click on plus sign create another entry and make it that number range with external all right so that's how you define here the number range so here is the, just the definition only and then we'll I'll show you the assignment as well so if i go back now the same way here the first step is showing you how to define a number range for routing same way you can define the number range for reference operation set rate routing reference rate routing and all that now this step here maintain task list type here we assign it so if i open this this one and task list type is n n is the standard routing that we use n is the routing and the others are like rate routing reference rate routing and all that so n is the routing one if I select N that we use in PP and then say OK. So here you can see number range is 0, 01. Where this 0, 01 is coming from? From the one that we customized earlier. So 0, 01 is an internal. You can see the first one is internal. Number range I. You're saying number range I. So num uh, 0, 01 and number range E. E, is, e stands for external. So 0, 02. So 0, 01 is for internal. 0, 02 is for external. If I go back show you that number range again 0 1 is for this is 0 1 0 1 is for internal and 0 2 for external so that's how system is picking up the numbers and accepting your 